<laughs> so, well, um, uh, good morning again. Um, it is a very important informal uh, meeting of the Ministers of Interior that will take uh, the place here in uh, Sofia. Uh, we have uh, uh, to find a way to agree uh, in uh, setting up and adopting a common uh, European asylum uh, system. Uh, no decision will be made today, but I believe that uh, our colleagues, the ministers, will contribute uh, in a constructive way in order to reach a solution. At the same time, we're going to discuss also issues that have to do with the better, uh, more uh, efficient management of our external uh, borders. Uh, Bulgaria is a good example of how you can manage your external borders at the same time the external borders of the European uh, uh, Union. Uh, another point uh, that will be discussed has to do with returns of the ones who are not uh, eligible to stay uh, in Europe. So we have to be more efficient uh, there. So, um, in, uh, during the, the, the meeting, uh, some ministers might raise either issues, but for the moment these are the main topics of our agenda. I look forward uh, to a good discussion and uh, Good understanding with uh, my colleagues, uh, Ministers of Interior of all member states. Do you think that the relocation quota will be part of this uh, new policy? Well, you know, relocation works. And uh, I can tell you now, the year, two and a half years after, that it is a success story. There are more than 30,000 people uh, have already been relocated. Uh, at the same time, the numbers have gone down. Uh, we have uh, less. Uh, uh, applications, but uh, on the other hand, uh, the system works. Resettlement also works, uh, and uh, we have the very first very positive uh, results. Definitely, we are not where we were three years ago. We have made a great progress uh, with uh, support and the contribution of all member states, uh, but we have to be vigilant. Uh, for the few, we never know what the future is holding uh, for us. So this is what we try to do to set up schemes, mechanisms, and a policy that will uh, provide member states and the European Union with all necessary um, means in order to address similar phenomena in the future. But the Eastern country doesn't take refugees. Is that a working Well, uh, let's stop using the term Eastern and Western countries. Uh, this this period uh, belongs to the past. I believe that everybody is inspired by the uh, European spirit that should prevail everywhere. We are in a common house, we all belong to the same family, we have to start thinking, thinking and acting in the same way. This is uh, uh, Europe and that's how we have to build our future. Are you optimistic that the division over quotas can be resolved by the month of June? Uh, uh, by nature, I'm uh, optimistic. I think that uh, what will prevail is uh, the European spirit and the spirit of uh, solidarity. I have repeatedly said that uh, this term uh, cannot be interpreted differently. If you take a look in the dictionaries of all uh, European languages, you see that the term solidarity has the same interpretation and the same meaning. Let's do something to get out of this uh, stalemate, because for me, it is not a real one. It is a question of how you think politically, addressing sometimes your domestic audience. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Let me see you later. Later on, more news at the end of it. Sir, thank you very much. Valentin. So many journalists. Uh, so many journalists.